Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Avalence here, and I actually am back on Diablo 3. I know it's been a while since I've done any Diablo 3 videos, and that's kind of what I wanted to address as far as this video goes. So you notice I'm actually on a different character now, and I did decide to roll a different character. I got my Barbarian up to 40, and got him through Act 1 of Nightmare. But I really, really just wasn't feeling the Barbarian. Uh, now, why wasn't I feeling him? I am... I've really played Melee my entire life, so to speak, in video games and stuff, and I'm trying to kind of back off of that. And I actually went through, and I started talking with some of my friends, and we are planning on doing Inferno mode when, you know, we get up there, get gear and everything like that. And some of the uh, my friends from the other videos who are pretty serious about Diablo, just as I am becoming again, uh, you guys remember Conker, and then also Conker's brother, uh, Cook, are going to be joining me for an Inferno gameplay uh, playthrough of Diablo 3 this summer. Now, I know that many of you guys are like, okay, Abby, well, people have already done it. Why should we watch yours? And that's totally true. Um, people have already done Inferno. Uh, they have done Inferno. They have enjoyed doing Inferno. And they probably did it better than any of us will be able to. <laughs> Really, it's just because I don't want Diablo 3 to stop. I really enjoy Diablo 3, and in this video, you know, I'm really here to discuss the launch of the Real Money Auction House and my uh, personal feelings on it while giving you guys some gameplay. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of announce that, no, my Diablo 3 coverage isn't over. I actually had a comment from a friend of mine. I just met him, actually. Um, Robinson, I believe is how to pronounce his online name. And he had asked, you know, well, why did you beat Diablo with the friend? Uh, why did you let a level 43 kind of ruin what could have been a really cool fight for you? And I totally agree with him on that. Uh, I did kind of let a lot of these fights be ruined. So I wanted to go back through and honestly play through by myself, get the loot I wanted, because I was skipping around a lot. As you guys know, I was releasing random gameplay videos kind of for me throughout the week just because I really didn't have time to do anything else. Uh, it was quick, cut, dry, uh, just nothing pretty uh, organized or fanciful, so to speak, because I had Ghost Recon that next Monday, and I wanted to try to get the Diablo, and that was a bit of a mistake, because that is obviously not what you do with this game. So what I wanted to do is revisit Diablo on a personal level. I I'm starting to realize that so many of these games are coming out so fast. Uh, you have Skyrim and Dawn Guard next week. You have Battlefield Premium, which just released this week on the 360 with Armored Kill that I'm going to be talking about. And a lot of stuff that is kind of coming out quickly. So I'm trying to cover a wide variety of stuff, and I think that's what I'm really happy that my channel provides is just a wide variety of things. I've, I've looked through tons of other channels, and many people are really focused on a certain game, right? And I agree that certain games are great. However, with my personality, I also like to skip through some stuff and kind of uh, change what I play a little bit. Because I, I get bored pretty fast. It's just my personality. I'm like that. I'll uh, reorganize my room one way, or clean out my car, or paint my car one way, you know? And then the next day... I'll change it just because I want something new. I want something fresh. So that's just kind of me as a person. So that's how I've kind of done the content here. And I hope that doesn't bother any of you guys. If it does, you know, please feel free to let me know. Because if you guys would like me to do some dedicated game footage, some walkthroughs, some guides and stuff, I'd be more than happy to explore those options. Because my gameplay is gameplay, and I do a few montages, you know. But outside of that, there's really nothing too educational minus um tiny tips here and there, right? So that's kind of where I stand on that. Also, I did want to throw out the idea of gaming with some other people. Uh, so many of you guys have actually asked me, hey, Avi, we want to game with you. Uh, and I, I love you guys. I really do. And I want to game with all of you. But for me to just start inviting random people to my real life friends list and to my games and to my battle.net list, uh, I'm a pretty internet sensitive person. Everything is extremely locked up. Uh, I don't talk to too many people over the internet unless it's for business reasons, uh, just because it's me, my personality. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing is something called Community Game Nights. Now I've put a lot of effort into this idea and kind of talking about why I want to do Community Game Nights and why I feel they'll be cool. It's also a great way to 
And when I say force, I say force lightly, uh, because I do want you guys to be involved in the community. But it's kind of a light way to force you guys to check out my Facebook and Twitter. And my Facebook and Twitter is where most of my community stuff happens. Uh, game nights, game releases, uh, midnight launch party announcements and stuff. Uh, because YouTube and Twitch are my media sites, but because my schedule is so hectic with college and stuff, I'm often sitting on the idea of, hey, uh, I can't tell you guys about every single thing I do via YouTube, right? Uh, and social media sites like Facebook and Twitter are much easier for me to do that with. So check those out, you know. The links are in the description below, but check those out because that's the way to kind of get in contact with me and game with me. And I've also opened up my message box on Facebook because I like to talk to you guys and answer your questions. So if you have any personal questions, please feel free to visit Facebook and send me a message. Now, I won't reply ASAP, but I will reply fairly quickly. Uh, because I like answering your guys' questions. And sometimes with the YouTube comments, I'm not as fast as you would like, so to speak. So be sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter fan pages for Gaming With Me, Community Game Nights, and this whole idea of interacting with me, interacting with the community that I'm making. So please, please check those out. I would appreciate it. I know you would enjoy it, especially if you want to game with me or hang out with me one night. That's uh, the best place to do it. So Facebook and Twitter. Now, on the note of Diablo 3, I did talk about the content that I plan on bringing. Uh, I did re-roll a wizard. I re-rolled a wizard for the sole purpose of something fresh and new. I enjoyed my barbarian, but I wanted something different, and I felt like melee wasn't the big thing for me, as I discussed in the very beginning of this video. So, I kind of backed off, and I tried something new. Um, and that's what the wizard is, right? Now, you can tell I'm not the best wizard player in the world, but I am enjoying her and having a blast playing something refreshing, something that I haven't tried before. Um, so, I am enjoying her. I'm also using her as kind of like my little integration into the Real Money Auction House. So, I've been absent from Diablo 3 for, quite frankly, a while now, uh, just because of Ghost Recon coming out, and then we also had now. Max Payne 3. I did some brief, brief Max Payne 3 stuff. Uh, so, I've taken kind of a leave of absence with Diablo 3, and I'm kind of returning, and I really just wanted to start fresh, so that's why I do it a wizard. Um, you can tell I'm already level 21, I believe? Yeah, level 21. Um, and with 21, I started this wizard two days ago. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm trying to plow through extremely quickly, uh, because I've already experienced the story, I know how the story plays out, so this is just plowing through normal ASAP and also going to be plowing through Nightmare ASAP uh, just to get my gear up. And then when I start tearing into Hell and I also start tearing into Inferno, especially with a couple of my real life friends, we're going to be hardcore doing videos and commentaries and stuff with us for you guys to enjoy. So please stay tuned for that. Now, many of you guys have also been saying, hey, Abby, um... What's what's going on with a couple of these commentary videos? I, I did announce that I would be doing a Skyrim Dawnguard commentary. Many of you guys actually enjoyed the Skyrim commentary where we talked about the Elder Scrolls Online, both me and Sundance. And we have been trying to do the Dawnguard commentary. We've actually done it twice. However, the file has been corrupted. So it's been kind of uh, problematic, so to speak. Uh, but that will be coming out soon. And... I really want to do it. I have tons of information about Dawn Guard. Uh, no, I did not get into the beta, unfortunately. Uh, just wasn't able to get into the beta. Uh, very, very selective beta, from what I've heard. Uh, there were tons and tons of applicants, and only about 1% of all applicants were actually accepted into the beta. Um, because, I, I mean, I really knew that they wouldn't be giving it out that free, right? That freelance. So, that's what that is. Uh, now... I will be doing commentaries like this. If you haven't checked them out, please check them out and tell me if you like them. I'm actually excited to be doing stuff like this uh, and all of that. So please let me know if you do enjoy them and I'd be happy to continue doing them because I am a big fan of the walkthroughs and commentaries with other people. Uh, also, I have a new kind of semi-show called Minecraft Tours. And Minecraft Tours is an idea that a friend of mine actually had said, hey, would you be interested in uh, checking out our Minecraft house? And I was like, you know, that, yeah, that could be really interesting. And I actually started doing Minecraft tours and got a lot of positive feedback from my Facebook fan pages. And so I'm going to continue doing those. So be sure to check out the Minecraft tours video. 
Uh, there's a playlist that I am making today that's going to be available on my channel, and there's also the video in the uploads playlist. Now, on the note of playlists, I actually want to discuss them. Um, I have tried playlists before to just kind of organize myself a little bit better, uh, make my page look a little bit more interesting. However, I've noticed that I really don't keep up to date with these playlists, and too often, not a lot of people actually go and check out these playlists. Now, this isn't me calling you out on anything, saying, go check out my playlist, uh, because that is not what it is at all. Uh, but this is just me saying, playlists, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with them in the future. Uh, I like playlists. I think they're a great idea. But with Diablo 3 and stuff, sometimes, like, yeah, right now I'm playing Diablo 3, but I'm also talking about a ton of other content. So, is it really worth it? You know, having that, having that playlist. So, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with them, but, you know, just sullen ideas. Uh, what else do I have to announce to you guys and tell you guys about? Let's see. Uh, Diablo 3 Real Money Auction House. I actually did want to talk about that. I was going to do a separate video for it, but I figured I might as well kind of throw it in here because this is just a little bit of commentary and me chatting. Um, Diablo 3 Real Money Auction House. I was pretty impressed actually it's very smooth flowing and it has both uh, excuse me if I'm wrong there's Mexican American and European currencies and by European I'm assuming the euro uh, now I only have the USD auction house available so you can't like have other currencies right in your own auction house like I can't say oh well uh, I want to do it in euros just because so you're not actually able to do that so to speak you can't just do in euros. Uh, so, oh well. Sorry, guys. I know that was on my priority list. But the Real Auction House is actually really smooth. Uh, there is still a transaction fee of a dollar. And basically, you can attach this Real Money Auction House to your PayPal account, uh, e-wallet technically, you know, through PayPal, or your Battle.net wallet. Now, your Battle.net wallet serves kind of like a cash shop. Uh, that, that's what I'm just going to compare it to. It's just a Battle.net wallet that's attached to your Battle.net account and you can add money to it with your credit card or you can just sell stuff on the Diablo 3 Real Money Auction House, blah, 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 blah to add it to your Battle.net wallet. Uh, do notice though, make sure you change it because once you have stuff in your Battle.net wallet, you cannot change your Battle... You, like, let's say... You, okay, so to put in perspective, let's say you accumulate $150 in auctions on the Diablo 3 Real Money Auction House, right? Uh, kind of self-explanatory there. So let's say you do that. Well, sure, you may have that $150, but you put it in your Battle.net wallet. Now, if it's in your Battle.net wallet, it's there for good. Uh, you cannot change Battle.net wallet currency to the PayPal. You have to select as you're doing it. Now, I think this is an extremely fair compromise. It makes perfect sense why Blizzard would do this just so they wouldn't have to deal with all of these transitions and stuff and I I totally agree with what Blizzard did there um, so be aware of that uh, be very aware of that level 22 woo! Uh, but be, be very aware of that uh, don't get all pissy and I'm sure some people are gonna do it you know of course some people are gonna do it uh, but there you know there's really there's really nothing you can complain about it's kind of just like whatever you know you you get it you deal with it uh and it's just it's it's something that people are gonna have to deal with now so many people have already been complaining about this they're kind of like uh why um and really to to be perfectly honest i think it makes perfect sense and um, the fact that you have two separate auction houses may or er, two separate auction houses two uh separate wallets makes perfect sense i think it's a smart move on blizzard's part uh just to kind of associate themselves with the idea of hey uh well you can only have this or that or that yeah, i i like it um frankly i've already made five dollars off of the real money auction house so people are going to buy stuff and the items are actually fairly decently priced so i went ahead and i i really didn't know i didn't want to be that guy who's like Oh, here's this, uh, here's this thing, and it's also going to cost you $500 for this crossbow. And there's already people that have put up, like, legendary items and stuff from Inferno Difficulty for a ton of money. And I was really surprised, because that was the big thing. I was like, well, how, how much is the price point going to be on this? 
and it was high, guys. I saw some stuff that uh, was, I, I can't remember. It was in the upper hundreds. Uh, so I was kind of like, wow, yikes, you know. Why are people putting this stuff up? I would never pay that much money. I'd rather farm it myself, you know. Gear's gear, and it's part of a game. But I guess if people want to buy their way up, you know, they can. Uh, now, personally, I've never bought gold, right, or uh, anything like that. But I guess people do. Uh, so, I, I don't know. I, I thought it was a little crazy. So, I put up a few things. Some uh, yellows I had in my bank, you know, just out of curiosity. Kind of for shits and giggles. And I was surprised that, uh, yeah, I got $5 in the uh, first night. So, I was kind of like, oh, this is okay. You know, cool. You know, I'll, I'll take it. And I just put it in my Battle.net wallet. You know, nothing really special. But I was just kind of like, oh, okay. So, that's... That's kind of cool, you know. Uh, I'll take it, and I th I think it's a good idea that Blizzard kind of embraced this. I while many people may not use the real money auction house. Uh, personally, I don't plan on using it much besides selling stuff because you know I'm a I'm a poor YouTuber and I try to buy prizes and rewards for you guys to give out and stuff, um, and it, it'll help me do that. But it's. I, I'm surprised how well it worked. Uh, it's very functional, very well done, and I think that's why they kind of delayed it past launch, uh, just for the idea of having this professional-looking service. And I agree that it would have been nice to have it at launch, but I think they did a good job with it. As many of you guys know, there was an Era 37. It was kind of just like, oh my god, Blizzard, really? Era 37, please. Please just stop. Uh, but it was, uh, it was interesting. So I... I don't know. I, I enjoyed the Real Money Auction House. I haven't done enough with it to be like, oh my gosh, I can tell you every single tiny thing about the Real Money Auction House. Because I can't. Um, but I do think it's a good idea. I think it's really cool that Blizzard kind of embraced what the community would do anyway and put it under their own control. So it's really cool. Uh, in other news, also you have Blizzard bringing down the Banhammer. Uh, this is actually really surprising. Uh, so there have been reports of many Diablo 3 players using bots to farm, hack, cheat their way through uh, without actually playing the game themselves. And Blizzard cracked down the banhammer on these guys. Uh, they permanently banned them from the game. So uh, warning to all people who, I guess, I don't know why you would use bots, just do it yourself, you know? It's, it's part of the fun of the game. But for all of those people who would do that, um, be careful. You can be permabanned from Diablo 3 forever uh that's what perma banning is and you'd be surprised at how many people blizzards already tacked off so far so warning warning to everybody not that i'm calling any fans out saying oh you uh you cheat your way through diablo 3 not that i'm calling any of you guys out but be careful you know just just uh public service announcement from me to you just be careful guys um so you have that going on, and I mean, that's that's really it as far as Diablo 3 news goes. You know, I'm working on this character, like I said, and I'm excited to do some Inferno. I actually think this wizard is the one I'll be doing Inferno with, just for the sole purpose of something different. Uh, I've been enjoying the hell out of her. Uh, I did do a female wizard instead of a male wizard, because I don't like how he pelvic thrusts whenever he stands still. So it's kind of like, bro, put it away. Uh, but... So I, I did do the female wizard. I actually really enjoy the female wizard and her clothes as well. I think it's so cool. Like, I'm in Chaldeum right now, right? And I think it's so cool how they look so uh, tropical or unique, so to speak, you know? So I, I was really excited about uh, the look of the wizard. It was definitely really different and kind of brighter colors and everything. So I, I enjoy the look of the wizard. I went ahead and dyed some uh, aqua blue clothes just because I like the blue. I did a lot of the white and steel with my barbarian, the two I got in the collector's edition, you know, the two dyes. And I was kind of like, oh, well, I'll do some uh, aquatica blue this time because aquatica blue sounds great. And it is great. I love having aquatic blue. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy the wizard. I enjoy the fact that I can do all these different kind of builds, and I've actually had a blast kind of experimenting with all these abilities. Like, I just got teleport, and I love teleport. <laughs> it's just kind of a oh shit button, and I love that aspect to it. I also love the Hydra. I'm a big fan of the Hydra, and I've been really digging the Hydra, to be honest. It's, it's nice. It's like a portable gun turret, so to speak, and I've been having a blast with the Hydra. 
just how I can kind of throw it anywhere, and it's only a little bit of arcane energy, so I can always keep it up. Um, as you can see, me kind of throwing it around here. But I love the Hydra, and I actually think I'm going to be doing a... Uh, Wizards can dish out a lot of damage, right? And I think I'm going to be playing more of a defensive kind of support role to Wizard. Now, is this viable? I have no flippin' idea. I haven't done my research on Diablo 3 yet. Um, but I think it'll be a cool build. Uh, so I'm planning on rolling Hydra with some armor, diamond skin, and the magic weapon just to use Charge Bolt as kind of a throwback and the distance. I think it'll be great, especially with one of my friends playing a Barbarian and another one playing a Witch Doctor, for me to just be kind of a support defensive-ish role as a wizard because you can see I still have a t I can still just shot a ton of damage with all of these uh, fancy, fancy devices. And with my charge bolt and my hydra, I was actually able to pick up, I went ahead and grabbed glass cannon for one of my passive skills. And that increases my damage, but also increases the damage I take. And it's, it's well off, it's just all about countering damage with, you know, diamond skin and the ice armor I have on right here. And once I get energy armor, rest assured, I'll be putting on energy armor. But you know, the wizard skills are really cool, really different, and I, I'm enjoying the hell out of them. The Hydra's great as a mobile gun turret, and I, I just, I'm having a blast with it. I honestly don't even remember what quest I'm on right now, so I, I don't even know what to say about the quest. Um, yeah, kind of hit. I did buy Battlefield 3 Premium. Um, I'm not going to talk about it too much because that's a video in itself with Battlefield 3 gameplay. Uh, but I did buy Battlefield 3 Premium, and I'm going to be talking about that in a video displaying Battlefield 3 Premium. Uh, just, you know, one of the, some of the new maps uh, and all that. So that's going to be up today. I also have a new Minecraft Tours, uh, this time with a friend of mine, V-Rex. She's going to be hanging out and doing some Minecraft Tour stuff with us, which will be super awesome. Um, I'm excited to see kind of what they have in store for me. I'm actually filming this video at, uh, as you can see on my clock in the upper right hand corner, 146. It's around 1, 120 is when I started filming this video, but I'm actually filming this video right before I did the Minecraft tour. Our tour is set for 2 p.m., uh, so I'm really excited to see what they show me with the Minecraft tour. Uh, while I'm actually talking about Minecraft tours and this whole kind of idea of hey, you know, new stuff. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who's loyal to me uh, community-wise. I actually was able to buy an external hard drive, a 1.5 terabyte external hard drive uh, for my video editing. And I don't know if many of you guys knew this, but I'm actually going to tell you the quick little story about that. Basically, I have a really nice computer. You know, it took me two years to build uh, with Christmas, birthday, and college, and small paychecks here and there for odd jobs. And I have, a, you know, the three-screen computer. My video editing software is not fantastic. It's a Windows Live Movie Maker. But, you know, I make it work, and I think I do well at it. Um, no, but just the whole idea of having all these kind of iffy software pieces... Uh, is really been kind of and eh, to me. I, I love doing different editing. I tried a ton of new stuff with my montages with some new editing uh, attachments I picked up for Windows Live Movie Maker, the slow-mo, the zoom-ins. Um, and I want to do better content and explore more, but I just don't have the money to do so. And that that's where you guys come in, and I wanted to say thank you for doing this. I am partnered with Google AdSense uh, just for the sake of trying to make a little something off of what I do for you guys. I enjoy being a part of an online community, you know, and kind of talking to all you guys and hanging out with you and doing videos and reading your comments and responding to your comments and stuff and doing live streams and stuff. I really do. Um, however, I don't make anything off of it. And I am a college kid. I'm looking to get into video game journalism, so I do need money, so to speak, to upgrade my hardware, my software, and everything like that. And I was actually able to buy that hard drive from private donations. I'm not going to list any names, um, but from private donations from some of my loyal fans and also from a Google AdSense YouTube check. So I wanted to thank both, uh, both, you know, both the private donators and all of you guys for your help in helping me do this. Basically, this 1.5 terabit hard drive is big for me because now I'm able to use this uh, hard drive to put video content on. I actually was dealing with my regular hard drive um, 
and what my regular hard drive had on it was about 92 gigs. So I would literally have to do a video, edit it, put in audio, you know, end it, save it, upload it, then delete it. Uh, so I wasn't able to keep any of my videos because I had such limited space, but I still enjoyed doing it, you know, and I wanted to keep doing it. So that's why I was kind of like, okay, you know, I really, I really enjoy this and I really want to keep doing this. But it's difficult, you know, it, it's really difficult. And because of you guys and your donations and everything and all your support, I've finally started to be able to buy my own software and upgrades and stuff. And I really appreciate that. I actually have a goal, uh, and this will be, you know, I'll probably announce this later on in a more tailored video. But I have a goal of reaching 500 subs and 500 likes and 500 followers across all of my social media sites. And because you guys have been so awesome, I actually used some of that YouTube money and some of my reward money from winning contests like BioWare's Best of the Citadel um, and a few other things like that to go ahead and buy some prizes for you guys uh, to do a giant giveaway if I do hit a higher amount of subs this summer. It's been a year since I started doing this, and I actually did not know any of this stuff beforehand. Uh, so I didn't know how to do video editing. I didn't know how to do recording. I was just a gamer. And I wanted to teach myself and make something of my gaming abilities. And because gaming is a big part of me. You know, I've been gaming since I was literally a year old. Um, and I'm 19 now, almost 19. So I've been doing it for 18 years. And I really kind of wanted to make something out of it. So I just want to say thank you guys. I will be doing a giveaway later this summer. Uh, and there will be an announcement for that. But I have some really, really cool stuff to give away. So for all of you N7 fans out there, I am going to be giving away some N7 sweat jackets. Uh, the sizes are extra large just because they were prizes I won, so I can't really do anything with that. But I have some extra large N7 sweat jackets retailed at, you know, a hundred plus dollars that I'm going to be giving away. I'm also giving away a copy of my favorite game of last year, Uncharted 3, for the PlayStation 3. And I'll be giving away a few other things too, uh, such as some... A live stream with Abby, you know, just just stuff you give your mother on Mother's Day, right? Just some giveaway tokens for you guys to hang with me and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it for this video. This is just kind of me talking and uh, hanging out, playing some Diablo 3. And I hope that you guys watch this and enjoyed this and are excited for some of the stuff to come up. If you're specifically excited for anything I talked about, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments. You know, interact with me. Uh, also, you know, video responses. This is. Avi talking. That's literally the title of this video. I'm just talking and hanging out, uh, kind of telling you guys what's coming and what we're going to be doing and stuff in the future. So let me know, you know, uh, what do you guys want to see in the future? Post a video response. Talk to me. I enjoy uh, hearing from you guys. And also feel free to check me out on Facebook and Twitter because that is the way to interact with me and my community that I'm helping build up. So thank you guys for watching. Thank, thank everybody for watching. And I'll be talking to you in some more videos this week in the future. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited for my one-year anniversary next month. So thank you guys so much for all your continued support and donations. I really appreciate it. It lets me do stuff like this. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. Have a good day, everybody, and have a good week. Avi out.